Hi and welcome to the Code Engine Getting Started Guide Part 2 for Tortoise SVN. Here we'll cover some advanced concepts like branching and merging and working with binary files. Branching and merging. Branches are a very useful construct in Subversion which we strongly recommend using. It allows you to separate out your pristine production ready code seen here in the middle stream from your active development, bug fixing and new feature work seen here on the right stream. So the method is, if you're working on something new, create a branch, do your coding and testing, and when you're happy, merge those changes back to your production-ready trunk, seen here at the bottom. So let's try it out by first creating a branch. From our previous video, we've already created our trunk and branches folders. So let's go ahead and create the branch by right-clicking on the trunk, which is the source folder, Tortoise SVN branch tag, select the destination, Enter in a message. And then click OK. And there you have it, your branch is now created. Now to actually view your branch, you need to go into the branches folder and do an SVN update. And it will pull down the branch that was created based on the copy that was in the trunk. And there you have it. Now you can begin work on your new features or bug fixes in this particular folder. Next, let's make some changes to the branch and merge those back. First, open up your branch, make some changes, and commit the file. Okay, so you finished your new feature and you want to merge that new feature branch back into the trunk. So let's go back to the trunk, right click, Tortoise SVN, Merge, Reintegrate Branch. Make sure you enter the correct branch, click Next, and then click Merge. Wait for the operation to complete. And there you have it, Merge completed, congratulations. And the last and final step, make sure you commit those changes. Working with binary files, given merging is only effective on plain text files, we must use a different approach for binary files, i.e. Microsoft Word files, images, PDFs, etc. You can imagine a situation where you create a binary file at the same time as your colleague and commit to the repository. The next time you update, you'll encounter a merge conflict and you'll need to manually determine which is the latest file. We recommend locking your binary file before making changes to it and then unlock when you're done. So let's try it out. First, let's add a binary file. Commit the file. Notice here it says application slash octet stream in the MIME type field. This means Subversion has flagged this binary automatically for you. Next, request the lock. Simply right click, Tortoise SVN, get lock. Then click OK. Update the file, commit, please note that Tortoise SVN automatically unlocks the file after a successful commit. Great stuff, well thanks very much for watching and we hope you've learned something. For more information please go to tortoisesvn.net support. Thanks again.